Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Jen. And I'm Adam. And we are here with another market update. Okay, Adam, the numbers we've seen rolling in over the last couple of weeks are daunting when it comes to unemployment. Yeah, it's it's huge. I mean, it, these are huge numbers that we're talking about, Jen. Plus 10 million Americans in the last two weeks have filed an initial claim an initial claim uh, for being unemployed. They've lost their job. Almost all of those are due to the COVID-19 pandemic. And so we had a jobs report out today, but yeah. the number that you saw today, which I know you have on your board, does not match up with the reality. It's going right, from the Labor Department, what they released on Friday morning was 701,000 non-farm payrolls going down by that much and a 4.4% unemployment rate. Now you see the asterisk, um, they only do data up to March 12th for that report. So what you're seeing does not include the last two and a half weeks of March, which was the most turbulent time in the month. So, so keep that in mind that we're only at 4.4%. That's up from 3.5% unemployment. So the big question then, Adam, is what does that mean? Like, so what? Okay, well, what does that mean now, especially for your mortgage? Yeah, I mean, it means a lot for your mortgage, right? I mean, when you talk about a spike like that, if we had a graph, it would be like, da, 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 bing. Um, it, it's ugly. And so what that means for your mortgage is that's 10 million Americans that now are questioning, what am I going to do about my mortgage payment, my rent, uh, it, because they don't have a job. You know, they, the, a lot of these people work in tourism or restaurants or small businesses that can't stay open because we're all doing our best to fight this pandemic, which is the right thing to do as a country, but it's putting people out of work. And so the question now, Jen, is if you're one of those people, what should you do about your mortgage payment? How is this going to affect mortgage companies? Right. First step, if you're concerned about it, call your servicer right away. I mean, we're already onto April 3rd. Please, please, please call your servicer. Um, some of you might have already had it automatically taken out of your accounts. I know I had my mortgage yep. automatically taken out. So if you think you cannot afford that next month, call right now. And if you can afford it, please, this is a service for people who desperately need it, who need to have a forbearance, who need to have a little bit of time. If you can't afford to pay your mortgage payment, it, it's probably best for everybody else, if, if you can, to do that. Yeah, it's one of those situations where we're all kind of doing what's right for the country right now, where we have this situation where we're staying home. A lot of us are sheltering in place, doing our work from home offices. Um, the, kind of the same thing. We need to band together. If, if you're employed, if you have a job, when you see these headlines about, um, you know, putting off mortgage payments to get through the crisis, that is reserved for people that do not have the ability to pay. And mortgage companies are ready for that. They budgeted for that. They're gonna do their darndest to make sure they can serve all those customers. Um, and that means the rest of us who are still working, we've gotta do our part and, uh, and do our part to pay our mortgage payments, get them in on time and support the industry because there is gonna be a lot of our friends and neighbors that are gonna need assistance in the weeks ahead. Um, and so we're all gonna do our part to take care of them. Um, and in the meantime, Jen, have some grace with your mortgage company, right? If you're on yeah. the phone with them, uh, whether it's to apply for a loan, because look, rates are still low, it's a great time right. to get refinancing. Exactly. Um, but, if, but if you're on hold, waiting to talk to them about your situation or get an application in, um, understand they are serving thousands and thousands of customers right now. Right, absolutely. And if you again, if you have any questions about what's going on in this process or what that means for you, please, please go ahead and contact a movement mortgage professional and read up about all the details right now at movement.com slash blog inside the market update.